Welcome back, everybody. We are back together here with another video, and we're going to be talking about Woke Disney. Now, this topic here, you know, I guess, I guess nothing really should surprise us when it comes to Disney, right? Not really, no. But I was kind of surprised by this. I mean, th this is another form of wokeness from the Walt Disney Company. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we documented quite well on what they're actually trying to do to children with programming. You know, they admit that they have a not so secret gay agenda. And it's backfiring, it's failing across yes. the board. But this right here. On Bounding in the Comets. The Walt Disney Company surveys Disney World guests on sexual orientation, gender identity, and more. Why are they doing that? I think they want to figure out, you know, how many um, people that actually go to the theme park is actually part of yeah, how, the Alphabet Mafia. Yeah, how many will, you know, watch their TV show or something like that? The, th the thing is, though. The percentage of people, and I actually talked about this on a sports video today, the percentage of people that identify as LGBT, it's like two, three percent. So I don't understand why they're actually doing this. Are they doing this because like um, the investor want to see, you know, how many those kind of people are watching their TV well, shows. Well, the investors aren't aren't concerned about this stuff. It's the it's the woke executives over there at at uh, Walt Disney. They're the ones that's pushing this stuff. Okay. They have activists within the company. So this is crazy. So I guess they are okay since they are pushing the agenda. I guess they want to. Do this because they want to increase more of the more woke, woke. propaganda. <laughs> yeah. I I guess so. I guess so. Now this is actually coming from uh, people after they actually visit the theme park. They're getting these surveys, and it's quite stunning because right here, here's an example. I believe this is the first one right here. Yeah, this is it right here. Uh, this is from a tweet, and this person actually asks, why is this the last question of a loan survey? WTF, does this have to do with me coming to your hotels or parts? Exactly. You sit bastards. Enough already with this garbage. It's unnecessary. So this is the uh, survey right here. Do you or anyone in your travel party identify as members of the LGBTQIA plus community. And you can actually see the answers right there. What does this even matter? Don't you want all people to come to your theme park? Regardless of um the way they identify? Mm-hmm. But I guess like um, you know, since now is a day, you know, people are not, you know, always you know, complaining, you know, they don't do much for, you know, certain, you know, group and stuff like yeah. that. So they are doing it, but I wonder, are they doing it worldwide or what? Since, well, when well, they say Disney World, so this is just going to be in Orlando right here. Okay. Now, the same person here, Doc Nutritionist, uh, writes, Dearest... Robert Iger, which is Bob Iger, the CEO, Walt Disney Company, Walt Disney World, Disney Parts. I don't mind partaking in the surveys, but why must you inject this data point? It's absurd. You are affirming mental illness. It's wrong and it needs to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Now, he put that in there because um, that she stopped saying ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, so they wouldn't offend the alphabet community. It's kind of hard to see what this actually says here, but I believe it says because this is officially from a Disney part right here. Uh, now we'll be asking you some details about each of the people in your household. 
including their age and their gender. If a child is under the age of one, record the age one. And that's where this whole survey starts. And then you have that last question right there. Okay. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I mean, there's no no point in actually doing this. Well, I just find out, okay, on the internet, it's a... Well, I just type in, like, Disney World in Hong Kong, and they didn't have one, but now today it's different. And yeah. it just say that they will be... They are currently being developed and will hopefully open in 2023. Uh, Disney World? So, yeah. So they might also do that surveys in Hong Kong or yeah. other places. I don't think that's going to go very well over there in Hong Kong, those kind of questions. No. Those, those People in Hong Kong are probably not going to go for that, right? No, but there's those I mean, they do have uh, well, gay and lesbian, but... Uh, well, yeah, there's gay and lesbian people not everywhere. They are outspoken. But the thing is, China is running Hong Kong. I highly doubt they're going to allow that question to be asked at Disney World Hong Kong. Yeah. I don't think the CCP is going to allow that. I don't know if they will be opening to... In- Japan, Taiwan, or other part of Asia. I mean, there's a there's a bunch of Disney World theme parks. I mean, they're yeah. all over the world. But I think this particular one here is just in Orlando, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, does it even say here? Uh, doesn't really say. Uh, let's see here. This new report comes from um, uh, WDW Pro. At that part place and features readers of the website and um, Walt Disney World guests uh, sharing screenshots of surveys uh, they've been sent after a park visit. Uh, Twitter user Doc Epcot revealed he received a survey from Disney Parks following a visit to one of the parks in August. I'm assuming it's only here in mm-hmm. um, America because it's in English. Hey. So... That, that's what I'm thinking. The world they speak English too. Yeah, but it would be in their local language, you know. Yeah. Those those surveys, like if it's in India, it'll be in. But they India also have translation, so I mean. Yeah, but I, I think this is right out here in America. I mean, they're really, really are they trying to gauge this data here and trying to manipulate it? Probably. Are they hoping that you know what? All of you crazy people out there that's been slamming us for this agenda. We have 50% of these people that are part of the alphabet community. Are they really trying to get that? I'm not sure. Maybe they're going to try to man- manipulate data, too. Maybe. I, that's I, I, possible. I it, it's definitely possible. But when it comes down to a theme park, I don't believe you should be asking those kind of questions. Now, if you want to ask do you have kids? The um, number of kids you have? Yeah, because, you know, that could actually help with marketing, you know, to families. Yes. You know, but when it comes to sexual orientation, don't you want everybody to go to your theme park? Yeah. And you're I at, just, and I actually, just think it's weird. And tell you the truth, Disney, I believe their focus really should be on families. Because think of that. A family of four is probably the typical size. Mother, father, couple of kids. You probably want those people right there because that's more revenue coming in. You probably do. Now, if you are a part of the alphabet community, you know, they don't reproduce. So I don't see what they're trying to really get with this whole thing. Well, they adopt children, you know. That, that's true, but for the most part, the traditional nuclear fl- family, that's still the norm by far. But that, you yeah, know, but I guess for them, I mean, this generation is more like, I don't know, it seems like it's more popular about, like, you know, the alpha. Well, the, 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 this is their focus. 
Yeah, their focus. Their focus is on a whole bunch of stuff. Remember, they yeah. said they, they were going to fight to repeal the anti-grooming law in Florida. They said that, but that was under the old CEO. Now, Bob Iger's bad, but it seems just more the same here. More yeah. the same. I mean, they've been pushing this stuff in the movies. I mean, they've been taking characters, and they've been pushing a whole bunch of propaganda out there. So, well, I, they're I don't know. committed to the cult. Oh yeah, definitely. They're definitely committed to this cult ideology. But right now, they should be focused on good storytelling. Keep the wokeness out of the theme parks because they're losing a bunch of money right now. Yeah, but do you think the, they're... Remember, remember, Disney Plus lost 2.4 million subscribers. Yes. So. But still, they... um, lies. It was on the news bright bar saying that, you know, um, Disney, you know, just lay off 7,000 yeah, employees yeah, they, worldwide. They laid off 7,000 yeah. employees, but they spent millions of dollars on Super Bowl commercials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't kind of make funny. sense. That's kind of funny right there. Yeah. But, but I, I uh, think the reason why they did that is that the Super Bowl is the most watched thing on TV. That mm-hmm. Super Bowl was the third biggest TV program of all time. So they figured, okay, we'll let 7,000 people go. We'll spend $7 million on a 30-second spot because we'll have a bunch of eyes actually watching that. Maybe that was what they were thinking. And then those people come in, and then Disney exposes them to woke ideology, and then those people are probably going to turn their backs and walk away. Yeah. <laughs> so. But, um... I forgot what I'm going to say. Yeah. Just more the same with Disney now. But this survey is ridiculous. Wait, I have a question. Do you yeah. think that, okay, you know, Disney has a lot of, you know, backlash. But do you think that they think they are doing the right thing? And that's why they are, like, continue pushing their agenda. They have to know what they're doing is losing the money. What I believe that they're doing is they want to say that, hey, we're on the right side of history. So they're willing to sacrifice money. But this this is what I've been saying. I believe that they will go out there. They will make woke propaganda stuff that they know they're going to lose money. But they always have that one movie that will generate a whole bunch of money, i.e. Avatar Way of Water. Under Disney, $2.2 billion at the box office. That thing has made a whole bunch of money. James Cameron mm-hmm. is cut. He made a bunch of money. Disney, they're making money off of that. They're yeah. not making money off the Proud family. No. They're not going to make money off of it. So they're willing to sacrifice that stuff. But for the large bit production, mm-hmm. that's where they'll make their money. You see, they'll make a bunch of money off of that. But they'll throw some bones to the wotes out there that they know they're going to lose money on. I believe it's a bad business deal. I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm going to make a product to make money. That's what I would do. So anything else to add to this uh, before we wrap it up here? No. I think I'm fresh out of everything on this. Crazy guys. But make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and we will catch you on the next video. Be safe, everybody. Goodbye.